quarterback. All right, let's talk about the Packers. They released quarterback Vince Young, and they have added Seneca Wallace to their depth chart. Wallace released by the Niners last week. John, what does he bring to Green Bay? A little bit of a different type of thing. Number one, he's got experience. He's an older quarterback. He's a running quarterback. He's a great athlete. And a lot of times when you're trying to get the mix and match, you know, you want a great pocket passer who can run like Aaron Rodgers and then somebody who can run coming off the bench. And so after going through a couple things and seeing that Graham Harrell was more of a pocket passer, you know, they decided that with the availability of Seneca Young and his experience. Se Seneca Young. Get it, John. Like, well, now they bring him in, and now he has a chance to be the backup. But, you know, it's still a position right now that they're going to explore and make sure they do better because, you know, do you believe it or not, they've totally revamped everything behind Aaron Hernandez. Finally, the Aaron Hernandez is officially the new starting quarterback for the Green Bay Packers. A Raiders quarterback battle going down to the wire. Dennis Allen has not announced who his starter will be. They open against the Colts on Sunday. John, who do you expect to get the nod? The mystery continues, but having seen that last game, I think it's going to be Matt Flynn. Now, Dennis Allen knows who it's going to be. He's just not going to say anything to, for the strategic reason. But the fact that Pryor was 3-for-8 and threw an interception, he didn't step up and claim the job, along with the fact he was more involved as a running quarterback than just a pure quarterback, and that's where Matt Flynn comes in. Now, Matt does have to play behind a bad offensive line. That really favors the running quarterback, but I think at the start they want to probably go with Flynn. No announcement yet. We'll see when they will announce it. As always, John, before I let you go, you always have a couple of news and notes for us. Go ahead with them, starting in Cincinnati. Well, Geno Atkins got a five-year, $55 million contract extension. That was one of the big contracts that needed to get done this year. So with, Car with the uh, fact that they took care of a decent chance he could end up signing with Detroit, they're Part going to two. As defensive linemen as they possibly can, and uh, that's one of their strengths of their team. Brady Quinn was added to the New York Giants today. He was cut by the Seattle Seahawks. New York Giants, so huh? Going on there, Graham Harrell comes off the roster, and we still don't know about Mark Sanchez. Looks like he's not going to be there for the opener, Geno Smith being the starter. Oh, Johnny. You're you losing your fucking time. mind, dude. For the latest news and notes as we get set, because week one of the NFL season finally upon us. Yep.